Hello and welcome to more Vintage Cube and Draft. Ooh. <laughs> I hope you guys see what I see. I'll give you a second to think about it. You can comment down what you think I see. And other than that, Yogmoth's Will and a Lion's Eye Diamond are in the same pack. I want both of them. So the question is, how can I, which one should I take to maximize my chances of wheeling the other one? And I think the answer is Yogmoth's Will first. Lion's Eye Diamond typically goes like kind of late. There are, this pack is pretty weak though. That's the biggest problem that I have with this. Um, if you're trying to maximize win rate, maybe just first pick Stoneforge. Probably that's what it would be. But if you're trying to have fun, we're, we're going to wheel the Lion's Eye Diamond. There's going to be no problems. Don't even worry about it. Here we could take Brainstorm, Lightning Strike, Demir Signet. Uh, maybe a Daze. I think I like Brainstorm the most. Ooh, that's a reasonably early Tinker. Kind of weird that it's going this late. Like, yeah, basically Tinker is at its best when you can pick it up early. Um, and then you can draft around it. Getting it late is where it's kind of rough. You know, like pack three, you're like, oh, I don't have that many artifacts. So if I take this here, we could have ours to be like a really, really sweet artifact deck. Uh, we could take a Simic Signet. I think the, the two drop Signets are better than the threes. Uh, Mind Slaver is pretty good. Dig through time is all right. Uh, Frex and Invoker I actually like quite a bit, but I'll take the Signet. There was a Gilded Lotus in another pack too, but we, I mean, we, if we, even if we don't wheel Lion's Eye Diamond, we'll be okay. The thing is, Lion's Eye Diamond is actually really good with Tinker as well. Just like it being a zero cost artifact that lets you Tinker is really nice. So we're just digging for a Citadel. Every time I see Flamespell, I just get sad. Um, Phantasmal Image, Batter Skull. I mean, this is technically an artifact. It's not really one you want to be tinkering into, but I mean, actually, it's fine, right? Tinker on Batter Skull is not that bad, but I think Image overall is going to end up stronger. What we're trying to do is draft the best possible Storm deck. I think the strongest deck in the entire cube is the uh, Bullis' Citadel Tinker Storm deck. Tinker into Citadel is a ridiculous like synergy where you basically spend three mana and then you can cast your whole deck. And if you're playing a Storm deck, you can really uh, facilitate that, right? You can hit a bunch of things in a brain freeze. You have card draw deck manipulation. If you hit rituals um, and then card draw, you can like get cards in your hand and start casting them. So it's just a really strong synergy. And uh, if you get something like Black Lotus, Lion's Eye Diamond plus Bullis' Citadel is quite good because, well, I guess it's just decent. Um, you can play it for zero and then you can use the mana before you cast spells off of Citadel to like draw cards or whatever. Here we're going to take Brain Freeze just to make sure we have it. Here we're going to take Mind's Desire just to make sure we have it. Um, things are going really well. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. We have Cryptic Command and Expansion Explosion. Expansion on Tinker is kind of funny. right? You spend 3 mana, sack an artifact, you copy it, and then you get 2 artifacts. Uh, we're quite heavy blue, so Cryptic is also tempting. I think I'm going to take this. One of my favorite archetypes as well. So we're... One thing I like doing when I'm drafting cube is drafting multiple different archetypes simultaneously. Um, right now we're drafting the Tinker deck, uh, Storm, Blue Control, and then like Blue Storm. So I guess like four archetypes. And we basically are going to find out which one is open and then transition into that deck. Because Brain Freeze in like Mono Blue Control is actually pretty good. If you just have a turn where like you, your opponent plays a spell, you counter it, they counter back, and then they play like one more spell... You could just go like brain freeze, snapcast, or brain freeze, and the game is over at that point. Um, or, you know, you can like, at the end of their turn, they cast two spells, brain freeze, remand, brain freeze, snapcast, or brain freeze, or like on your turn, play a spell, snapcast, or brain freeze. Oh, we got it back. We're in the clear. Storm is open. That feels so good. Okay, so now that we know Storm is open, how do we maximize our chances of winning? Lightning Strike helps us if we are like going for thousand year storm scrap heap scrounger i don't think is worth taking it is an artifact for tinker but we can do better i think i like lightning strike it also can keep you alive there's mana flare the best card in the pack by a long shot mind slaver is a good tinker target okay so i think storm is wide wide open we have yog will led which is basically the the components that you need to have a successful storm deck that's like the minimum um, now we need like card draw and things like that. Uh, Oblivion Stone is like okay in Storm. I don't think I'm playing Deserted Beach, so I'll take it. Take a Flame Tongue Yearling, I guess. You know what's not a good combo in Storm? Killing all of your lands. 
unless you have fast bond and crucible of worlds and then it's like a build your own uh <laughs> turnabout <laughs> still not good but it's possible um coalition relic i think is just the pickup yongmoss bargain probably will come around and i'll be happy about that i'm gonna move o stone over here it's like if my opponent's playing mono green maybe it's just really slow uh well there's a blight steel that's a pretty good one to tinker up tinker into torrential gear hulk is actually very interesting um because you can like flashback brain freeze that way so it's kind of fun um but i think for this sake, we're just going to take Blightsteel. It's actually pretty good um, with LED2 because it can never go into your graveyard. We'll always be able to tinker for it unless we hit it off Mind's Desire. So I'll take that. It's the second best tinker target, but now that we have that, we don't really have to care too much. Here comes Tendrils. I think we should try and wield Tendrils. Storm looked very open and we need to get fixing for our mana. Um, we already have Brain Freeze too. Like, if I was like really, really concerned about a win condition, I would take it. But yeah, there's Empty the Wards. Like, we have as many ways to win the game as we want. We're going to take Verdant Catacombs, um, Goblin Electromancer, Storm the Festival. No. <laughs> I keep looking for any possibility of playing that card, and it's just not happening. We're going to take Metamorph. Good with Tinker, both on the sacrificing and on the tutoring up sides. Just being able to tutor up a copy of like anything in play is really nice. Iteration is a really strong card. Everflowing Chalice is good too, as is Wishclaw Talisman. Uh, the Talisman's really nice with Tinker because you can like tinker for it and then tutor up something. It does have a chance of coming around and Everflowing Chalice is really nice as a tinker enabler. But we are probably looking for some type of tutors, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take the Talisman. I think it has the highest upside. My mana is very sketchy. Ooh, Dark Ritual. That was very good. I'm just going to take that. Hangerback Walker is nice and all, but Ritual really helps. I don't have any fixing, no. Okay, Wheel of Misfortune, Yawgmaw's Bargain. Um, I mean, Bargain's really good. Wheel of Misfortune is really sketchy. It only works if you have... Like, if your opponent knows what they're doing, they're just going to pay, like, one less life than you have. I don't have Tendrils yet, so I'm going to take the Bargain. Wow, did Tendrils get taken? Ah, huh, who's sniping my tendrils? I will speculatively pick up a Gilded Goose. Never mind, there's my tendrils. Alright, we just have all of the Storm Wind Cons. I don't even think I'm main decking empty, but <laughs> we can. With Mind's Desire, having more Storm cards is pretty good, because, you know, Mind's Desire into just tendrils for, like, four is okay. Mind's Desire into empty the warrants plus tendrils. Suddenly you have, like, eight goblins and their life totals low. Nobody's taking any Storm cards, which is good, but the downside is there's just no storm cards being opened in the packs, so we're still a little bit like short on enablers and stuff. Um, someone's also taking all the artifacts, so this tinker is not the best. <laughs> it's not the best tinker I've ever seen. Right now I'm not playing Mind Slaver. Also, Blightsteel Mind's Desire is, I guess, a win condition. Man, this deck is so sweet. I just need next pack to be really nice to us, because we're, we're the only ones drafting this deck by far. But we haven't seen any fixing. Or like the enablers, like rituals and things like that. Okay, here we go. Uh, and they're all in the same pack. Prismatic Vista, Spiral of Canal, Emery, Remand, Relic. They're all insane. Uh, what do I take? Emery LED is strong. Not good with Blightsteel. I think I'm going to take the fixing. Prismatic Vista is just like perfect for helping our mana. I don't know if there's no duels here. I think Underground Sea is like everything we would want. Um, but I'm going to take this. Either Remand, Emery, or Spire Bluff Canal will be great for the deck. Ooh, Demonic Tutor has got to be good. We have, yeah, we have Yogmoss Will, LED. Demonic Tutor centering that up is so strong. Ooh, and Time Twister. Okay, this now, now this deck's coming together. Um, yeah, Twister just lets us do things all over again passing up on a fast bond and past in flames which honestly might come around there's our frantic search or deck fade in i think i like frantic search alongside tendrils i'm not seeing many artifacts though the other thing is frantic search lets me discard blight steel to put it back into my deck also can we just take a moment to appreciate how awesome this artwork is good work pete venters it's just such a cool looking card i love it um, here we can take Chart of Course. Tezzeret on zero can grab LED, but otherwise Tezzeret's fairly useless in the deck. 
And Charter Course is nice because we actually do kind of want to fill our graveyard for Yogwill. Like, discarding a card isn't that big of a cost. I uh, don't think I'm main decking this Shield Breaker. The rest of this deck is looking fairly nice. I think Lightning Strike is alright to keep. Although we could end up cutting most or all of the red. I don't really have Turnabout, so Mana Flare doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, <laughs> there's the Turnabout. Um, there's also a Snapcaster Mage. So I have Snapcaster Brain Freeze. I think I just need Turnabout. With Mind's Desire, having Turnabout as a hit is just so strong. And now we can put Mana Flare back in. Spellseeker, Orzov, Signet, Bergy. Wow. Yeah, we're wide open here. We're just not... Uh, all the cards we want are in the same packs. So this is two or less. So this cannot get Yawgmoth's Will. Bergy is just a ridiculous magic card. But I think I may just have to take this Signet. It does fix for black, and it gives us a critical number of artifacts. Narset's pretty good with Time Twister. I'll take that. Okay, I don't think I'm main decking Lightning Strike. The Electromancer is good, but it's really hard on the mana. I might even not play Expressive Iteration. Like, this card is insanely strong. But I think we're basically just blue-black, and I don't have any dual lands. I think someone, maybe two people, actually that makes sense for this draft. I think maybe two people are fighting over the five color deck and just picking up all of the fixing. Um, and then the rest of us are left just with whatever this nonsense is. Okay, there's Emery, but there's also just Relic of Progenitus. Uh, I do need a critical mass of artifacts for Tinker. Relic makes me Tinker quicker. Uh, the problem is Relic is really awkward if I want to sack it for cards because... I lose, like, my graveyard. I think that's still probably better than Emery. Thousand Year Storm, Pyretic Ritual, Tangle Wire. Uh, I don't think this is a TYS deck. I'm going to take the Ritual and probably not play it. All right. Fast Bond, Past in Flames. I mean, this has got to be a Fast Bond deck. We could take Vindicate or Wear Tear, maybe? Sacred Foundry... I love the Tubby Dragon, but not today, good sir. Last pick, Hellrider. All right, I mean, that was weird. We had everything we wanted, except for mana. But I think we can still make things work. We have quite a few cuts. So we have actually two fet three fetches, so Brainstorm's pretty good. Okay, 27. So, I mean, I could just cut Iteration Mana Flare. I think I have to restart my computer. Something's going weird here. Hang on, I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Um, I think I can cut Phantasmal Image, although having this copy of Blightsteel is actually pretty interesting. Um, I could also just cut the Tinker Package, right? That lets me cut Relic, Blightsteel, um, Tinker, these Signets. I like the plan B, though, especially Blightsteel Mind's Desire is pretty nice. I guess I could just cut Relic. Relic is the worst artifact in my deck by a mile, and I have... Some amount of Tinker targets. Although stacking LED is pretty rough, so it's pretty much just these Signets. 24. So we've cut... Phantasmal Image, I think, is probably the correct cut there. Um, I have Frantic Search Turnabout. I need to put Mana Flare in the deck. Then maybe I can cut Yawgmoth's Bargain and then just run 16. But with Fast Bond, you really do want more lands in your deck. But I have Signets and stuff. I think I'm going to run 16 lands. So this one, this one, Vista. I'm just going to run like one forest. Oh, this meta is actually kind of perfect. One forest, one mountain, a lot of blue. Magic Online, you've done it. See you guys at round one. All right, we're playing against Onion Knight. Uh, this hand's actually quite good. I really wish I was on the play, but um, I can just like Demonic Tutor for Tinker and... Go that route. They have turn one library, but they mulligan, so it's going to be pretty slow for them. And I guess I save Scalding Tarn for a fetch, so I'll just lead on Island. Right? I mean, they can wait and not make any land drops, which is a game plan. Um, I think if they... In some matchups, it's definitely worthwhile, because then you just draw a card every turn for the rest of the game. Double colorless lands I'm okay with. Walking Ballista I'm also okay with. Time Twister is pretty bad. But now with the Signet, we can Demonic Tutor. And next turn I can go Coalition Relic into Demonic Tutor. We're just going to make a Construct. Yeah, I think I like that game plan. T3, Coalition Relic. 
They make a dude. Black. So what am I tutoring for? Because next turn we can go mana flare off of these two and then a land. And then we'll have six mana. Then we can frantic search down to three up to nine mana. So we could grab fast bond, I guess. I could grab tinker and just try and do that. Let me think about this. I feel like turnabout is minus four mana, but it adds a bunch. Yogmos will is actually kind of medium with what I have currently. Um, they're just going to make a construct and then fetch something up. And I'm going to have a storm count of like one, two, three. We're just going to time twister and get it all back. So maybe I do just want fast bond. Actually, you know what? Let's just go for Tinker. They're playing black red as far as I can tell. So it's going to be pretty hard for them to deal with the Blightsteel Colossus, which is indestructible. Um, Colossus also blocks, or yeah, Blightsteel also blocks pretty well. And then I just have Time Twister, Frantic Search, Mana Flare as a backup in case that doesn't work. Now, if they have Zealous Conscripts, I'm super dead, but that's okay. Oh, there's LED. Um, I guess I could just go land, LED. Actually, getting LED makes me just want a Yawgmoth's will, so I can tinker for the tutor. Yeah, actually, I think I should have a win here, so we could just go Mana Flare. Yeah, I think I can just do this now. Mana Flare, um, LED. I don't necessarily need to play. I can fetch this. Grabbing a blue. Frantic Search. Charter Course, Phyrexian Metamorph. Um, so we're going to tinker into the thing that tutors, and then we're going to fetch up Yawgmoth's Will. So I don't actually need to cast Time Twister or Metamorph. We're going to discard or untap these. Except I used my black mana. But that's okay, actually. So I can go Charter Course. Actually, I can't cast Charter Course now. Because if I draw Yawgmoth's Will, I'm in trouble. So actually, we go Lion's Eye Diamond. Yeah, yeah, we got this. Uh, hold Control. We're going to tinker away the Orzhov Signet. Then we're going to sack LED for black. Okay, we're getting there. Then we grab Wishclaw Talisman. This is going to tutor up Yogmoth's Will. Then we cast Yogmoth's Will. I guess that's the only red card in my deck, so I can use the red mana here. Play LED. Um, I can tinker for something. I guess. I don't know. Crack LED for black mana. Then I can't actually frantic search before I demonic tutor. So we're going to demonic tutor first. That way we can grab tendrils. If I frantic search first, I could draw it and then discard it. Here we grab tendrils. Um, now I could just start casting whatever I want. So we can like chart a course. All right, let's start with frantic search actually. Okay, that's two rough ones to discard, but it's okay. Untap these. Now we have all this mana. Um, we can chart a course. Discard this one. And nine, this will be ten. Just to make sure, I guess I'll play Orzhov Signet. Tendrils them. Okay, that turn was a bit loose. I think I was just supposed to find Mind's Desire, probably, instead of Tendrils, but it worked out. So they're playing Artifacts. Not a whole lot I can really do against that. So we run it back. Hello, before we get to the rest of the draft, I'm just letting you know that this video is sponsored by me, again. Um, I'm actually doing pet commissions now for Christmas or for gifts or really whatever you want them for. Um, but I finally got my art creation process to the point where I can do commissions fairly consistently. Um, so if you want to turn your cat into a beautiful work of art, um, this one I'm quite a fan of too. I could turn your cats into, you know, a scene, like a mountain. So this is two cats. Uh, their tails are touching and they're kind of kissing, but it's an abstract mountain scene. This is a dog that I turned into outer space. Um, this, this one's quite awesome, actually. It's a dog made out of, like, mossy tree bark. Uh, this is another cat turned into the tree style. So right now I'm only starting with a couple styles, but I'm going to keep adding them as I go. So if you're interested in getting this, you can go to my store, uh, shop.kalebgannon.com. It'll be in the description. Uh, go to shop now, and then um, you can see there's different sizes. You can get things framed or unframed. 
uh, and it's pretty straightforward. And then you just upload your image. So if you're interested in that, it makes a great gift uh, for friends, and it's just an awesome piece of art. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the draft. Oh, what a hand. Got a mulligan this one. I will keep this one. Uh, we're just going to wish claw for Tinker. And we can actually we can actually go off quite quickly here. We're going to keep Bottom and Island. Um, because of the way things work... Oh, they have Relic. Okay, well. Aren't they in for a surprise? Do I have one Swamp in my deck? Let me check. No, I have like four. So let's lead on Verdant Catacombs. And I'm not even going to... Actually, I don't really want to draw lands either, so I'll fetch. Grab the Swamp. I have Green off Simic Signet. <laughs> oh, if I had fetched Green, actually, I could have done some cool stuff here. That's okay, though. We're going to go Simic Signet. All right, we lose this. That's okay. As long as we don't draw Blightsteel. Ooh, Demonic Tutor. Um, That works as well. I'm going to have to discard my hand to do this. That works actually way better. So let's go LED. My hand is bad anyway, so we're just going to go all in on this. Hold control. Yeah, because I'm one mana short, so... Uh, actually, wait. I can... um. Oh, this works out really well, actually. I can play Wishclaw Talisman. And then Demonic Tutor. Old control, demonic tutor, in response, crack LED for blue. We're going to grab Tinker. And then we Tinker away Simic Signet for Blightsteel Colossus. Aha! <laughs> and then we have Wishclaw Talisman still at the ready to deal with whatever stuff they might have. And now, if they have Zealous Conscripts again, we die, but they don't. See you guys next round. All right, we're playing against PT Blazers. That was a very fast round. This hand is... Uh, Fast Bond is basically like a dead draw, but we do have Mana Flare Frantic Search and Demonic Tutor. I think I mulligan though. This hand doesn't really go anywhere. This hand, I guess I'll keep and get rid of Blightsteel. Knowing Blightsteel on the bottom is on the bottom is also quite good. I don't really want to shuffle with Verdant Catacombs yet for that reason. Uh, just because like drawing Blightsteel is the worst possible thing. Okay, they get to see what's going on. Whoa, okay, to taxi probe den of the bugbear. So we are gonna just cast the talisman here. Because we're probably gonna play Narset and then just like talisman for time twister. Yeah. I'm not even gonna downtick Narset. I guess if they have burn, this goes really poorly. But let's just hope that is not the case. No, no, no. <laughs> it's so likely they have burn, yeah. I mean, she gained me five life, I guess. That's something. Let's go chart a course. We draw Yogmoss. Well, I'll discard an island and play this mountain. Um, we're playing it a bit slow here, and that's okay. Take three. So they're mostly red, it seems. Okay, they have showdown. Runaway steam can season parmates or char. So we need to win very quickly. Um, if I can set up a tinker, that would be ideal. I don't know how I do that. Oh, Mind's Desire? I guess we just do that. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we can... Uh, I don't think I can do this, but you can Wishclaw Talisman with Turnabout, right? You can Wishclaw. Oh no, they, can, they can gain control of it as part of the ability, so never mind. So we're going to go Island. I mean, we're just going to go for it here. We're going to Turnabout myself. Then we're going to Wishclaw Talisman for Lion's Eye Diamond. And then we're just going to set up a big Mind's Desire. Yeah, turn about myself. Trying to get double black. Land untap. Uh, use a blue here to Wish Claw. Grabbing Lion's Eye Diamond. Cast LED. Hold control. I don't really need this red. I think I'm just going to Yogmoss Will and sack this for blue. Sack LED for blue. Okay, then we play LED, back it for black. Tap all of these, we turn about my lands. That's pretty good. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can go Narset into Mind's Desire. Okay, that seems pretty good. And yeah, I want to down tick, I guess. Oh, because Dark Ritual seems very good into Mind's Desire. And I want Brain Freeze. I can't cast it now, so I'm just going to Dark Ritual. 
Then I can chart a course. Discarding a swamp. Then I mine's desire. Show me the goods. All right, there's tendrils. Okay. <laughs> it's as easy as that. So they're playing aggressive creature stuff. I maybe want the Oblivion Stone. They have a lot of burn, so Narset's kind of sketchy. Like, I just don't have a lot of ways to protect her, so I think Narset Time Twister is just not going to happen. So we can cut her. I could bring an O Stone. It's good in some situations. The other option would be Phantasmal Image or a Lightning Strike. Uh, I'm going to go with O Stone. It's a Tinker thing. And they probably are going to cut almost all of their removal. Uh, we have Blight Steel in our hand, but we can use LED to get rid of him, so I guess I'll keep. This hand wants a Time Twister so badly. They also mulligan to five, so I'll take that. This hand's actually not that bad against Thalia either. Um, I guess we could Prismatic Vista for a mountain. Bolt my face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do they just have like a... Oh, you know what? I should have taken that as a sign and played Lion's Eye Diamond. This feels like they're going to go like Time Twister or Wheel of Fortune maybe? I don't know. Bolt your face there seems so aggressive. Yeah, we're going to play Simic Signet. I'm just going to cast LED in case they do have Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I take a hit off the sword, but then I get to do like Cryptic Command stuff. Brainstorm is also fairly good. Um, can't really Cryptic Command this turn, so let's Brainstorm. There's Time Twister. Okay. Putting back Blightsteel Colossus and Forest. I can brain freeze myself, but I guess I'm just going to set up for Time Twister next turn. Well, let's just play Coalition Relic. That's a lot of mana. In fact, I can set up for a Cryptic Command into Time Twister if I really want to. Uh-oh. <laughs> they see the secrets. Goblin Guide is fine. Do I take nine? Oh yeah, and I put the land on top. <laughs> Well done, me. Let's put a charge counter here. I go to five. They play Mishra's Factory. So if I Cryptic Command, I'm going to have to just... Uh, this hits for four, right? I think their non-basic lands make Cryptic Command kind of a problem. Right? Because I can Cryptic Command, but then they activate Mishra's Factory and like Lightning Bolt me. I only get one card deeper. I know that's Blightsteel Colossus. I have fast bonds, so the land drops don't really matter, so I think that's okay. And there's no point in brain freezing myself, I don't think. This is just going to add blue, flare land. Um, do I want to play Signet? It gets me one storm in and one card deeper, but I think the answer is no. Blue, blue, green. And I guess we're just going to crack LED for blue. So let's hold control, cast Time Twister, sacrifice LED for blue. There's the fast bond. That costs zero mana effectively. Play land, take a damage. Play land, take a damage. Fetch an island. So I can play one more land here. Um, I think we have this. I can wish claw talisman for lion's eye diamond and then I can brain freeze myself. Yeah, because I can get black off coalition relic. So let's do this. And I don't need Mana Flare anymore. Grabbing LED. Cast LED. Hold Control. Cast Yawgmoth's Will. And then in response, cast Brain Freeze on myself. Then crack LED for black. Then I get my whole deck and then I can Tendrils them out. We can play it. So now I can Dark Ritual. Play Lion's Eye Diamond for blue. Um, I can play lands, I guess. I can go to one here, play an island. Then I can Demonic Tutor or Turnabout. Turnabout myself, and then they die. Match two down. See you guys in the finals. All right, we're here in the finals against Avocados. Uh, we're on the draw, and this hand doesn't really do anything, so I'm going to mulligan. Wow, this hand's even worse somehow. I'm going to mulligan again. We have Time Twister. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We keep this, we get rid of Mana Flare, Brain Freeze. 
and then we just set up for like LED time twist or whatever. I think one of my biggest weaknesses is not being willing to mulligan enough. We're playing a ridiculously broken deck. Like I'm not going to keep a hand with four lands. I think there was some video like two or three videos ago where I lost in the finals because I didn't mulligan. So we're learning our lessons. Tell our opponents, hey, good luck, have fun before we storm them to death. Uh, the other thing we could just set up for is Witch Claw Talisman and a Tinker if we find an artifact. Avocado says, oh, hey, Caleb, good luck as well. I always lose when we play. <laughs> Maybe today is the day. We shall see. I love it. Um, let's lead on blue. If I play Island, it's going to incentivize my opponent to play a little bit slower. If I play Swamp, they're going to think like I could have Thoughtseize, so like maybe I should play faster to get things out of my hand. Well, we can discard Blightsteel at Charter Course at least. Goodbye. <laughs> that kind of tells them what's going on, but that's okay. Okay, they play another land, so... Frantic Search is tempting, but I think we're just going to go for Relic. I feel like I'm going to get Mana Drained or Dazed or whatever, but... This hand it can't really afford to play around those things. Oh, Spellpairs was going to hit whatever I went for. Okay, they're just like playing draw go, draw go or whatever. Um, let's play a Mountain and play the Talisman. I'm setting it up so that once they're out of counters, I can Frantic Search into Time Twister. Like, clearly they have some type of counter magic. Well, I don't know. Maybe they don't clearly do, but it seems like they have something they're thinking about. Maybe they have like Brazen Borrower to bounce it. But... Like, Brazen Borrower is... Yeah, there we go. Um, I can still activate this, right? Hmm. That's interesting. I can do this to fizzle their Petty Theft? Okay. I like that, actually. They get whatever they want, but I feel like whatever I want is going to be more important. Plus, I get this back into my hand, and they lose their Petty Theft, I think. I don't actually know how this works. I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's actually happening. <laughs> Opponent just said they thought it was sorcery speed, which is what everyone in the world thinks it is, because that's what a reasonable person would have done. Um, okay, so we could take Mana Flare to go with Frantic Search. We could take LED, but that is a bit risky um, in some aspects. I can take Tinker if I find an artifact. I could just take Cryptic Command or like Narset. Oh, I like Narset actually. Yeah. And then I think Petty Theft fizzles. But now they're not pressuring me with a Brazen Borrower. And if they want to activate Wish Claw Talisman, then I get it back. Okay. They're going to just go for it. Watch them bribery my Blightsteel. I would be so mad. Okay. Recall's fine. Come on. <laughs> All right. We get to go land. Um, what do I want to do here? They probably have Counter Magic. I can Wish Claw Talisman for Cryptic Command. And then play the waiting game. Because they can't use this anymore, right? Yeah, so if I just activate Cryptic Wish Claw for Cryptic Command, we're doing okay. I can also just grab Lines on Diamond, or I could just keep this in play to activate whenever I need. Actually, let's just go for Narset. What could possibly go wrong here? Playing around Miscalc. Okay, Remand is fine. And we will pass turn. Um, I kind of want to Wish Claw now, so I just don't have to worry about it. Let's just do that. I kind of want to just guarantee I have a land for next turn. They cast Remat. Actually, let's just get Cryptic. And then I can counter Bounce Wish Claw Talisman. This is sweet. This card is a lot of fun, actually, when you're doing it this way. <laughs> okay, I have zero creatures in my deck. So, good job drawing Blightsteel Colossus. Oh, I have Metamorph. Okay, that's fair. All right, I need to draw a land. I can Frantic Search into a land as well. Okay, there's the land. So let's go Vista, Fetch, Grabbing Forest, Frantic Search, Discarding Blight Steel Colossus. They're going to be mad. Um, I guess I want to hold up double blue, right? So we can just Frantic Search like this. And the whole thing, the thing here is that we could find LED or Dark Ritual. Uh, discard Blight Steel Island. Then we play Narset. Then Time Twister. Okay, that resolved. Um, I'm going to down take Narset now. Because I don't actually mind discarding. And I don't want them to like bounce her. Oh, wow. Uh, probably just got to be Demonic Tutor. And I think I discard the Signet. I guess I'm going to play Yawgmoth's Will. So I could just discard the Island. 
And use Prismatic Vista. Yeah, that makes sense. So they could Wishclaw up Bribery and then Bribery from my Blightsteel Colossus again. But then they're tapped out. Which is kind of why I set it up so they're tempted to do this, because I definitely have a win in hand. And I get Wishclaw Talisman back too, which is a, a copy of the OG Wishclaw Talisman. Oh, they just fetched and passed. Okay. I draw a land. Let's go... Let's lead with Fast Bond and see what happens. Because I can Wishclaw Talisman for Cryptic at instant speed on my turn. Let's go land. Land, take a damage. Um, down take Narset. There's Cryptic Command. I like that. So I think I can play this slow now. There's no real rush. We can go Simic Signet, hold up Cryptic. And then I Cryptic like bounce Wishclaw Talisman and then I could just tutor like so many times. <laughs> Oh, it's glorious. Um, I could Demonic Tutor this turn, but I also have Wishclaw. I think I'm better off just waiting. I could chart a course, though. Discard a land. So LED is very tempting. I pretty much have everything I need. Actually, having Cryptic Command in my hand is rough because I can't fetch it off of Wishclaw Talisman at instant speed in response to my LED crack. Because I think the play is like, Demonic Tutor for something like Dark Ritual or whatever. Then I Yogmoss Will cracking LED. And then I discard my hand. But if I have um, Wishclaw Talisman, I can then tutor Cryptic Command to counter whatever they have at instant speed. Cryptic Command, my Narset drawing a card. They have one card in hand. Let's fetch and see what happens. Blue. There's one land left in my deck. Glorious. Grab a Swamp. I think I want to counter that spell draw card. This could also be a bait though, right? If I just let this resolve... Actually, that's fine. I could just reactivate Narset though. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so now I counter this. I see. So that's what they Wishclaw Talisman for. And there's the Mind's Desire, which actually <laughs> doesn't really work because all the important cards are in my hand. Alright, maybe letting them bounce the Narset was a mistake. But I think at this point I could just like tinker up Blightsteel. Okay, they're dead. Beautiful. Uh, no, they can't even force a will. Yeah, they're just dead. I think the only card they could stop me here with is Days. So the only thing I need to care about is Days. Ooh, and we draw a land. So let's go land, fetch. I think I have one swamp left. Yeah. We do that. We cast LED. We are going to. Demonic Tutor for like a Dark Ritual or something? Sure. I'll grab Dark Ritual. Cast Dark Ritual. Um, I guess I can Wishclaw for Turnabout. Turnabout myself. Land on tap. Um, then I can play Narset. Not take Narset. Grabbing Brain Freeze. Um, so I can... Yeah, okay. <laughs> They've had enough. Um, so they're like all in controlling, it seems. Relic seems so bad. Although a fast Blightsteel, they do have Brazen Borrower, but I probably should just cut Blightsteel. I don't know. I can cut Blightsteel Tinker to play around Bribery. But then like what else? Like my deck is very one note in that case. Bribery also costs five mana. Oh wait, I can play Mind Slaver. That works. Then I'm not at risk of anything. Oh, I want Tinker in the deck. I can cut Phantasmal Image, just run Tinker, and run my only creature is Phyrexian Metamorph. In fact, what if I just cut Metamorph and then Bribery is a 100% dead card? Alright. Well, this is pretty good. I'll keep this. I don't know what I'm fetching up with Demonic Tutor, but it's, it's something is going to be good. I hope they kept in Bribery so badly. And we want to get down Narset as soon as possible. I think I saw a spell pierce from them last game. Ooh, let's lead on Swamp. I want to use this fetch land with Brainstorm. I want to put back uh, Turnabout. But obviously I have to draw a blue source for that to work. So actually it doesn't make sense to lead on Swamp. They play Signet. There's LED. Let's go Scalding Tarn. I think I'm just going to fetch here. For Island. Um... I could Demonic Tutor for an island. That's not the craziest thing I've ever heard of, but I think Charter Course just makes more sense. Discard Turnabout. Okay, there's Frantic Search. So we can go Forest. 
I kind of like just casting Demonic Tutor. If they spell pierce it, so what? Okay. I think this is going to be the rare Demonic Tutor for Island strategy. <laughs> you never see it. I didn't expect that to resolve. I should have cast Brainstorm first, but I can still like discard my Brainstorm cards off Frantic Search. Here comes Brazen Borrower. Oh, okay. Finger back for one. That's fine. And given the way my hand is, we're just going to end of turn Brainstorm. Generally, this is not a strong play, but uh, I can put back two islands here. I get to keep Demonic or Dark Ritual now. So if they try and Spell Pierce my Narset, I can then Dark Ritual to keep it alive. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice. Um, let's down take. They maybe have Brazen Borrower, which would make some amount of sense. But I get to draw a card here. Signet. Go ahead. Oh, that's pretty good, right? It's just a 1-1 one, one shark? Okay. Please, opponent, just cast Bribery. <laughs> I know you want to. These have been some pretty wild games, though. I mean, my opponent's playing, like, all interaction, and I'm playing mono, like, one strategy storm. Okay, Narsa takes the hit. Talisman is good. Let's go Island. Um... How do I do this? I think I'm going to Dark Ritual out Simic Signet and a Talisman while still holding up Cryptic Command. Now they bounce something. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. They might die here. High Tide is fine. Hang on a second. <laughs> uh, I can Frantic Search up to 5, 6. I don't, they just high tide and then pass turn? No, they still have priority, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad for them. <laughs> so, storm count is five. Uh, that puts it up to five, six, seven, eight for 24. If I find any castable spells here, we're just golden. You got it. Because I want less cards in their deck. I think they forgot that this is instant speed. I'm just going to grab Brain Freeze for those who are not sure what's going on. Okay, they cast Memory Deluge, so let's Frantic Search here. Uh, do I have the mana for this? Six, seven? Yes, I do. <laughs> this is one of my favorite storm wins. Unless I get dazed. Okay, this resolves. Discard Relic Time Twister. Untap these lands. Then I'm going to Cryptic Command, bounce their island and draw. Or I could bounce Narset. That might even tempt them to Ancestral or something. Oh, wait, this is even better. Uh, I can activate Wish Claw. Then I Cryptic Command, bounce this draw. Yes, this is what we wanted. And if they cast any spell here, they die. So this is tempting them to do something, but then they're going to die. Yeah, I drew a land, but that's okay. We're just going to brain freeze them down to one card in deck. So they have like one turn to kill me. That doesn't work, but I love, I love the effort. <laughs> oh, did they target themselves? No, they targeted me. Okay. But yeah, I think the opponent's error was that... Um, only the original spell gets the storm triggers. Copies don't get it. <laughs> they said GG, always fun. GG's. I respect the opponent's desire to just get me with brain freeze. <laughs> so they knew what was happening. They just didn't realize that. For those who are watching and was wondering what just happened, uh, brain freeze or storm only triggers on cast. It doesn't trigger on copy. So by them copying my storm spell, they only get one copy of it. Um, if it triggered, think of it this way. If storm triggered on copy, casting it one time would just go infinite because you would cast it, it would copy it, but the copy would copy itself and you just cast infinite spells and the game would draw anytime you cast it. Well, that's why it only works when you cast it. That's another storm trophy. We're kind of crushing it. Um, last one was very great to play against. Um... Yeah, okay, I guess we've trophied two in a row again. We, I think I've trophied four out of six. So, that's pretty good. See you guys next time.